right, we are in the nursery. Um, and I just wanted to go through real quick. I have done a few more things to it. So, um, yeah. All right. First, that got moved over. And that got moved because I got something else I'll show you in a minute. But then I got hangers and I got to hang up everything I wanted to hang up. And then there's extra clothes that they don't fit. All three of their car seats. And then over here is like their sweaters and their snowsuits or whatever you want to call it. And the bibs, boxes, and reborn packing stuff. Abigail's old bassinet. And a cat sneaking in there. Okay, so curtains, curtains, still curtains, same curtains. Beautiful November Washington day. And I'm not being sarcastic. I love this kind of weather. Okay, so the changing table got moved over some. Um, I brought that in here because of the other bouncer that I will show you guys in just a second. And so, what else did I do in here? Okay, hung those. Okay, so I got this shelf. And I got that butterfly. And... I don't think that wooden statue thing is going to stay in here. I just always kind of wanted one and they had it and I bought it. So, and then because we had that pop figurine for Claire, we got one for Ariel's namesake too. And then our last name starts with an S. So, we're going to go over the mirror, pretty sparkly butterfly. And then we'll go like this. Haha. -ha. These are these little hooks that I got. Sorry, barking dog. So I got these three hooks and I didn't know what I was going to put on them, but then I got the idea to hang their little headbands on. So that's a great storage spot for that. And then my totes, I've got my gloves here, mitts, and then all my extra passies. Oh, and I can show you. Toby jumped up. Um, let's see how I've got it in here. There's hats on the right and tights um booties and slippers on the left and then there's diapers and some of their shoes and then here's the other drawer with um solid colored socks on the right patterns on the left and the rest of their shoes i like baby shoes toby's keeping an eye out for us everybody all right so what else was there? Was there anything else? Oh yeah, haha, -ha, duh. I got a new bassinet. <laughs> I got it off of OfferUp for $5. It's in perfect shape. It vibrates and lights up and makes sounds and... Yeah, and then I hit that and it shakes. <laughs> I think the battery's dying, but anyway, there's Miss Abigail, and I think we're going to do a changing video after we're done with this, so, um, yeah, and then we've got Ariel over here in hers, oh, and yeah, I got this mobile at Goodwill for $6 as well, I believe, but yeah, so there's Ariel and Abigail, and then quick scan security cats Gretchen that's not polite okay um I think that's everything so oh I'll show you the bouncer in the living room so we're out here in my living room and this is the newest rocker bouncer thingy that I got for the babies I got that at Goodwill for six dollars and it's super cute it works but of course I don't it doesn't need to vibrate. Um, it's in really great shape. The little birds are so cute. And on top of it looks like leaves. <clears throat> and branches. And then when I put one of the babies in there, those little ears make her look like a little bunny rabbit. So, that's the newest bouncer. And then, there's the one that I already had. And there's one of the boppies that I have given to the dogs because they look so cute when they curl up in it. Um, yeah. Back to the nursery. And here we are again like magic. 
Okay, so we are going to change Abigail first, and yeah, let's get to going on that. Um, I think the thing that I wanted to talk about today <laughs> was um, anybody, I guess it was on the Reborn Mommies and Daddies page, last night somebody posted that they were standing in line at Walmart and, um, and a dog started barking and, and she had her baby in its car seat and was looking for reborns for sale online while she was standing in line and some nosy lady behind her saw that and um, went and got a manager apparently and uh, they, according to her, her story was they pulled her out of line into the office where there were two uniformed police officers waiting and they detained her there for two and a half hours. They demanded to see her phone because somebody reported that she was trying to buy and sell babies on the internet. <clears throat> and from the beginning, it just sounded kind of suspicious. I'm like, that's, without arresting you, they can't hold you that long. And for a simply, like an easily resolved matter, it just didn't make any sense. So, um, I said something doesn't sound quite right about this and somebody said are you accusing her of lying and I'm like oh, a little bit yeah I mean I'm not saying it didn't happen but I I think there might be some exaggeration and um, some people hold on one second. all right I'm sorry about that um, so somebody commented um, there's no way she's making this up blah 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 and I'm like I guess there's an easy way for us to figure this out. We could always just call. So, um, I looked on her Facebook page and it said she lived in Rome, New York. So I Googled the Walmart Rome, New York number popped up and I just hit dial and I asked to speak to loss prevention and I was transferred to a manager. Um, Anthony's manager of security at that Walmart and Basically, the manager I spoke to just laughed because if the whole thing was absurd, none of that was handled the way that Walmart policy dictates it must be handled. There's no way legally they can detain somebody for two and a half hours on and on. I mean, we were on the phone for, I think my timer said like four minutes, but the majority of it was him going, that's not the way anywhere it works. And I'm like, I know, but I just, it's, it's not so much that she's lying. It's a lie that she's telling. The reason I'm upset by it is because that scares people from taking their babies out with them. Like, I know me taking my babies, I went from, and I've said it a million times, I went from only leaving my house once a week with my husband to now I'll go run errands three, four, or five days a week by myself. I'll pack up one of the babies, throw them in their car seat, and we'll go. And it's, I mean, it's, the proof is in the pudding, I guess. It's like, Obviously, this is beneficial, so why do you want to mess that up for people? Why do you want to scare people from doing something that might benefit their lives? That's the part that made me really mad, and that's why I just couldn't let it go. And, um, yeah, I just lying is stupid, first of all. Just why get on the internet and just make up some stuff to were you were we going to be impressed? Was that supposed to be real cool? Like, I just don't understand it. And, uh, yeah. And it's all it's doing is making the reborn community look bad. And, like, that it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. If you do get stopped, literally, just, hi, it's a, this is a vinyl doll. Or a silicone doll. Because I got money. No, she's not silicone. She's vinyl. I'm poor. No. <laughs> Um, not poor, broke. There's the distinction. But, um, it's a very, very, very quickly resolved thing. And as for them demanding to see her phone immediately and handing it over so that they could make sure she wasn't trafficking stolen babies, it's just, the whole thing was ludicrous. And I, I don't know. I guess if you're gonna, if you're gonna take the time to lie, if you're going to take the time out of your day to sit down and sculpt deception, 
why not do a good job? Like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't understand. Like, it was just so pointless. And all it serves is scaring people. Like, if somebody who didn't know had read that and went, oh, my God, I, I don't want to take my baby out. Like, they were considering it. Like, it takes a lot of courage for people to do this. Like, it really does. Because there is stigma. I have never had a bad interaction in public. I keep my head down. I keep her covered. I don't look for attention. That's just my choice. If you want to go out there and show off your babies, that's awesome. Do it. I'm just, that's just not what, um, what I choose to do. Um, oh, you're so cute, Abby. But, um... Yeah, it just, why perpetuate a lie that could scare people away from something that could change their lives? That was my whole, my whole thing, so that's that. Oh, and then um, after I called the Walmart last night, I posted on the group, I, you know, okay, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. And maybe a minute or two later, it was deleted. So, um, and she has blocked me and anyone else who commented anything. And nobody got rude. Nobody at all. Like, there was no name calling. There was, I, well, I said, I think you're a fibber. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it didn't get nasty or anything. It just disappeared. So, I don't know exactly what that means, except I do, because she lied. <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. There's so much better stuff. Is that proper grammar? There are so many better things that you can do with your time, with your life. Go cuddle a baby. If you feel like you need to be destructive, go do something positive. Dang nabbit. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, we had them all dressed yesterday. Um little dresses and stuff and so I wanted to do a little bit more casual today um, I had been sorry fumbling for the hairbrush I had been changing them in their pajamas <clears throat> every night and into fresh outfits every day but um, it's just too much for my hands to deal with to handle I guess hand doll get it oh. <laughs> Um, so I change them into pajamas, you know, if I feel up to it at night, if I feel like my hands can take it. And, uh, then I usually leave them in their outfits for a couple of days just because it takes even more. So, oh, she's so cute. Oh, I forgot to get mittens. Mittens, mittens basket of mittens and then I can just dump them out throw them all around there's my purple ones do I want purple do I want hmm purple it is <laughs> done and done we will just continue the theme and I think I even have I do I have a lavender mini mouse pacifier and that is in here I believe yep boom shakalaka okay so oh oh she's so cute I can't get over it I just I, I'll never ever ever get over how beautiful this baby is so here's Miss Abigail Abigail Grace. I love her in purple. Okay, now we are going to switch her out with her sister. And we will get Ariel changed. And then there's her, and we'll put. I really love how her little legs are all froggy, and uh, she's just so sweet to hold and I love I love the way her arms move and bend and the way they lay and the way that she flops and yeah Boop. 
but um what was I going to say? Oh, um I have been speaking with Claire's artist who's rooting her. Not the artist who painted her, but who I'm having root her. And she said that when I spoke to her earlier in the week, she said a week or two more. So I'm very excited. But yeah, I knew it was going to take a while because she's doing a favor for me. She doesn't normally take, um, she's just, I guess, rather, I should say, started taking rooting, um, appointments. I don't know what they're called. Um, and she had other dolls that she had already committed to doing custom and things like that. So she was doing me a solid, um, and working on her when she can. So I just know she's going to be beautiful and I'm so excited and I can't wait for her to come home because then I will finally, for the first time, have all three of my girls together and that will be a happy day. And yeah, I leave them in the same onesie. Oh, for a long time. <sighs> it's just less snaps for me to have to worry about doing. And, um, yeah. Um, this weekend I get to meet my first in-person reborn friend. My husband and I are driving on Sunday morning down to Tacoma to go to the Tacoma Dome and see Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood in concert. And I'm so excited. But on the way down there, one of my reborn mommy friends, Heidi, hi Heidi, uh, lives down that area. So we're going to stop by probably on the way back from the concert just because. So that, okay, Garth Brooks, it started with one show and now I think there's six. And um, so the show's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's also a Seahawks game that afternoon. At probably, I think it's like 105. So traffic is going to be a nightmare in Seattle. Oh, it's going to be terrible. And then the Tacoma Dome traffic is also not fun. And so I just, we're probably going to leave our house at like 7 a.m. Um, I just want to get down there, get some kind of decent parking, just because I don't want to... I hate sitting in traffic. <laughs> I just get so anxious. But um, I'm going to bring probably Abigail with me. Um, I'm going to be a terrible person and probably put her in her diaper bag in my trunk. Well, she wouldn't fit in her diaper bag. But I'll probably put her in the trunk like wrapped in a blanket. But I'll still have the car seat in the back. So after we're done with the concert, I'll probably throw in her car seat real quick making sure that she's in the blanket the entire time anybody can see her because I don't want to drag a baby out of a trunk because then I would deserve to have the cops, cops called on me and that would be a real story <laughs> but um so um after the show we're going to drive over to her neck of the woods and meet up meet the babies introduce ourselves yeah I'm super excited so that'll be fun and also Garth Brooks. Hooray. I'm so excited. I never never thought that I'd get to see him because he retired for so long. And um, I mean, I knew he would probably eventually come back, but you never know. And so I got, I've got to see um, Dolly Parton and Reba McIntyre. And those were my ultimate all time. I got to see them before I die because I didn't get to see George Carlin before he passed. And I still regret that because he came to Bellingham when I was in high school and I wanted to go so bad, but I think my dad wouldn't let me. But I've been listening to George Carlin at my mom's house since I was like seven. So, um, anyway, um, when the tickets went on sale and they announced that Garth Brooks had said no tickets can be more than $75, I was like, oh my God, we might actually get to do this. And so, um, I got the tickets and it's great. I'm so excited. And now I get the extra, extra bonus that I get to meet my friend face to face. Okay. I have sock, sock options. There's sock option one. 
<clears throat> sock option two. So there's one, there's two. And then we have a third just to complicate it even more. I'm hoping that as soon as I see, I will be able to eliminate one. And then we do one, one sock on each foot because nobody else is going to see her and it matters. But this is one of my favorite things about having reborns and it just bums me out that I can't do it more with the way my hands are. Yes, yeah, so I'm still waiting on a call back from the doctor about the nerve conduction test that I had. Um, I got a call from my attorney or my paralegal today on behalf of my attorney that I need to go get more paperwork filled out at the doctor again. And it's just making things even more complicated. Okay, I just don't like how loose those are on her. Let me justify my sock choice. But you guys, I just didn't like how floppy the other one was. I do usually like big socks on tiny feet, so it just didn't look quite right. <laughs> okay, she's adorable too. Oh, do we want mitts on her? Let's. let's. All right, so here is what we've decided for I keep saying we like anybody else is here making these choices <laughs> anytime I say we I'm just talking about me and apparently the voices in my head or maybe the cats but yeah that's it the cats and dogs okay and here is Ariel all dressed for the day so I guess I will go ahead and say goodbye for now and thank you so much for watching everybody and we will talk to you guys later bye aunties <laughs>